Hello, welcome to a review of The Interview. A review The Interview. It's that movie that caused all the controversy, the Kim Jong-un thing. About Seth Rogen and James Franco going to kill Kim Jong-un or whatever. Meh. Um, it's funny at some points. James Franco's character I found to be pretty unlikable. Not usually very funny. What are we, the first like 30 minutes of the movie was just... Like, all the jokes where James Franco says something stupid, Seth Rogen says, shut up. Or, actually, no, he more commonly said, shut the up. There was a lot of cursing. And, uh, I don't know, there were certain moments that were really funny, but there were other moments that were really not funny. Like, okay, I'm just gonna bring up, the, there's, the, there's a fight scene later in the movie between Seth Rogen and this other Korean dude is like tried to stop the broadcast of James Franco humiliating Kim Jong Un. I don't know what they're. I don't remember what the character names are, so I'm calling them their actor names. Um, and it got really weird because the Korean guy bites off one of Seth Rogen's fingers, and I'm just like, what the fuck? And Zach and Bri my friends Zach and Bryce were watching it with me. They were laughing. I was just like sitting there like, what the hell? Because before that, there was, like, no gore whatsoever. And then they just... I think that was supposed to be funny, them biting each other. But I just found it more gross than anything. I guess, because uh, I'm not a big fan of gore. But even, like, even even if I wasn't, like... Even if I didn't find it gross, it still was just a bad joke. Because it came out of nowhere. And there was no reason for it. And, okay, maybe you could believe that that guy would have done that. But then Seth Rogen bites off one of his fingers, and then he bites off another of Seth Rogen's fingers, and I'm just like, no, no, this is bad. This is so bad. But, okay, I'm trying to, it's been a week since I watched this, because I have a bad habit of uh, watching movies and not making reviews until, like, a week later, and then I decide to just make, like, like when I've seen, like, three new movies, I just make a clump of, like, three reviews all at one time one after the other, and then I upload them. Um, some of the good stuff about the movie. Because right now, I, it's, it sounds really unpleasant. Just Okay, trust me, there there were some funny parts. But, I don't know, okay. What it was, was... It was, it was the kind of movie where, like, the humor is all, like, really immature, which I don't... I, I don't mind dirty jokes, but, like, it was kind of those... It's kind of one of those movies where, like, the the one of the where like the hero, because I'd argue James Franco's character is sort of the hero, as in he's the one that goes on the air and humiliates him. But he's kind of a d bag. <laughs> like, like I said, I didn't like his character. I don't like I don't like d bag, like d bag d bag goofy com like stupid stupid idiot d douchebaggy idiot characters. I like goofy idiot characters. But I don't like douchebaggy idiot characters because for some reason when they act like an idiot I just kind of roll my eyes and groan. Whereas when goofy characters act like an idiot I laugh. It's just I don't know. It's just I guess it I guess it appeals more to my sensibilities since I'm more into goofy style humor than like like smart alecky douchebaggy kind of humor. So I guess I guess that's just a thing. I don't know. But eh movie pretty forgettable. You're not you're not going to remember it. So the video cut off, but what I what I was saying was the get the movie, I almost said game. The movie is very forgettable. You won't remember it in a couple days. I sure haven't. That was actually going to be the ending of my review, but now that I just made that awkward cut, I feel like I should add something else. Oh, uh <laughs> Minor random thing, but for whatever reason, every, er, like, the actor they had playing Kim Jong-un did not have an Asian accent. I'm not even sure if he was Asian, to be honest. He, I, I mean, he must have been, I mean. But, to be honest, if you look at him, he doesn't, I mean, he kind of looks like Kim Jong-un, but not really. Like, I'm sure they could have found somebody better to, uh, well, I mean, I guess it's kind of hard, but... <laughs> Like, the dude didn't even have a, like, Asian accent or anything. I mean, I guess if he didn't have one, it's better that he didn't try to do one, because it would have been more racist. But then again, this is the kind of movie where that kind of thing wouldn't matter. 
random point is random, and that's literally, like, all I remember, so, yeah. Arrivederci!